How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. So for today's analogy, we're going to talk about the concept of default using a football analogy. So Jamarcus Russell was one of the greatest quarterbacks to play at LSU. He threw for a number of yards, he threw for a number of touchdowns, and he was a very highly skilled player at the collegiate level. As a result, the Oakland Raiders decided that they were going to take a chance on him, and they decided to draft him that year. The Oakland Raiders arrived at training camp, and they expected Jamarcus Russell to play just as well as he had played at LSU for their team. Unfortunately, he was, un he was unable to do that, and he was unable to really perform at the highest level, which is the NFL level. Some people say that he was unable to make weight. He was a little bit overweight, actually, and he wasn't really able to throw for as many yards. His arm strength wasn't as well as it had been in college, and he had a number of off-the-field issues that affected his performance on the field. In a similar sense, there are companies that make payments to investors, particularly bondholders, and these payments are interest payments. So if a company is unable to raise money or they're unable to perform and have profitability, they may end up having to default on those interest payments to investors. In a similar sense, we have Jamarcus Russell, who played for the Raiders, who defaulted on his obligations with the team because of certain issues that he had. On the other hand, you have a company that makes payments to interest holders or to bondholders, and if they're unable to make those payments, they end up defaulting on those payments. So default is something that's negative, but it happens. And it's important for teams like the NFL to take that into consideration when they're drafting players and also for investors when they're choosing which companies they want to invest in that are issuing bonds to them. So I hope you guys found that analogy helpful and be sure to stay tuned for more content at www.sentme.com.